speaking of our industry, you know, AFLA's Corporate Fleet Manager of the Year Award is a very prestigious award. And I got to be a judge this year. And reading the nominations, it was just fascinating um, thinking about sort of the things that, um, you know, we've been doing over the last 15 years in fleet. And some of these top leaders like yourself really accelerating um, their careers through sustainability and safety efforts. And it's great to be recognized for those. So tell me a little bit about, you know, the things that you did that led to you being selected as a finalist. Well, definitely humbled, uh, honored to be a nominee for Free Manager of the Year. Definitely appreciate that. But obviously, this is not a a single person fleet manager journey. I, I feel like I owe a lot to my current situation with Schindler, uh, my manager especially. I think a lot of push and drive from the whole company to be sustainable and meeting our goals to be net zero by 2040. Um, you know, it's amazing. as I said in the article, I, I really created our own playbook here because there wasn't one, you know, to really follow as far as sustainability and electri- electrifying our fleet. So I believe a lot of fleet managers are going through the same thing, you know, kind of struggling wh- where we need to be as far as meeting our sustainable goals. So, you know, I think for us, I mean, we kind of went full steam ahead and, you know, kind of learning and doing at the same time, but taking some risks as well. Uh, learning from our mistakes, but at the same time, keep our heads up when we, you know, face some disappointments and challenges at the same time. So, you know, for me, this whole journey has been a company journey and, you know, it's definitely uh, challenging and uh, really exciting at the same time, especially working with all my colleagues here at Schindler. Yeah, I I think, you know, I mentioned sustainability is a huge passion for me. I, I think it has been my whole life in one way or another, whether it was recycling, or, or things that, you know, greening or planting trees or whatever the case may be. But in fleet, I feel like we have such a great opportunity, even though we're emitting, you know, things into the environment, we're driving a lot of miles, we're managing vehicles with, with different types of fuels. I think we have a great opportunity to, you know, get to that net zero, right? But it takes a lot of effort. So if, you know, there's some fleet, we have a a big audience of fleet managers who listen to the podcast. Speaking about sustainability specifically, what are some tips um, you could give some fleet managers who might be thinking about, gosh, we need to have a sustainability plan or they're starting from where you started from, which was like ground zero trying to figure out, hey, let's, let's write this playbook. We don't even have one. So what are some things that you could share that maybe would help someone get started on their journey of sustainability in their fleet, even maybe just creating a plan? Yeah, I mean, definitely, I think networking with other fleet managers, other companies is really important. I've actually spoken to other companies that have really just started in the journey. Uh, I wish I had that when we started, you know, definitely uh, helpful, I guess you can say. (laughs) So, you know, really... uh, really the advanced planning to to network with other fleet managers keep in touch with the oems on what is on the horizon uh really do your research as much as you can and just be realistic on what you can achieve and what you cannot because there's a lot of things that are kind of out of our um control uh you know such as with electrification infrastructure is still a big question mark product availability is still out there as far as uh what's going to be coming down the horizon so it's kind of like a, an area where we're at a point where there's a lot to be uh, determined in the next couple of years. So just stay focused and really uh, keep your eye on what's out, what's out there. Those are great tips. And, and I think too, when I think about sustainability, you know, we can't just switch all of our vehicles out, you know, so there's other things we could be doing, you know, lightweighting our fleet, looking at opportunities to take weight out of assets so that they can run more efficiently and burn less fuel. You know, there's great ways to recycle some of the components that we're using in our vehicles. Think about upfits and um, vehicle bodies and things like that and building for making those those bodies, those upfits last longer chassis to chassis and reducing waste that way. So there's just a lot. I think there's no silver bullet. However, there's a lot of different ways that um, we can continue to cut emissions and reduce fuel consumption in our fleet. So for the fleet managers who are listening too, I mean, I would invite you guys to reach out to myself or Ted, you know, and, and talk about the sustainability journey, because again, it's not, 
It's not going to be the same for every fleet. 